we're asked to write the quadratic function f of x equals 2x squared minus x plus 3 in vertex form. The given quadratic function is in the form f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, which is often referred to as general form or standard form. Our goal is to write the quadratic function in vertex form, which is the form shown here, f of x equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k, where the ordered pair h comma k is the vertex of the parabola. One method to write the quadratic function in vertex form would be to complete the square, but for this example, we'll be using these formulas here that we can use to find the axis of symmetry or line of symmetry, as well as the vertex, where if a quadratic function is in the form f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, the equation of the line of symmetry or axis of symmetry is x equals negative b divided by 2a, and because the vertex is on the axis of symmetry, the x-coordinate of the vertex is also negative b divided by 2a, and the y-coordinate is f of negative b divided by 2a. Once we find the vertex using these formulas, we can write the quadratic function in vertex form. So beginning with the given function, we have f of x equals 2x squared minus x plus 3. Let's identify the values of a, b, and c. a is the coefficient of x squared, so a is 2. b is the coefficient of x, so b is negative 1. And we don't need c, but c is equal to positive 3. And now let's find the equation of the axis of symmetry, or line of symmetry, which is x equals negative b divided by 2a, which in this case would be negative, negative 1, divided by 2 times 2, simplifying, x is equal to 1 fourth. So because the equation of the axis of symmetry is x equals 1 fourth, we also know the x-coordinate of the vertex is 1 fourth. Now we'll determine the y-coordinate of the vertex by evaluating the quadratic function at x equals 1 fourth, which is indicated here by f of negative b divided by 2a. So to find f of 1 fourth, we'll substitute 1 fourth for x, so we'd have 2 times the quantity 1 fourth squared minus 1 fourth plus 3. So simplifying, the square of 1 fourth is 1 sixteenth, and 2 times 1 sixteenth is 2 sixteenths. 2 sixteenths simplifies to 1 eighth. So we have 1 eighth and then minus 1 fourth. Let's write 3 as plus 3 over 1. To add the fractions, we need a common denominator. Notice how the least common denominator is 8. So we'll multiply the numerator denominator of 1 fourth by 2. We'll multiply the numerator denominator of 3 over 1 by 8. Notice now we have a common denominator of 8. So the denominator is going to stay 8. And the numerator is 1 minus 2 plus 24, which gives us 23 eighths. So now we know the y coordinate of the vertex is 23 eighths. And now we have all the information we need in order to write the quadratic function in vertex form, where a in vertex form is the same as a in general form or standard form. So we know a is equal to 2. And because the vertex is the ordered pair 1 fourth comma 23 eighths, we know h equals 1 fourth and k equals 23 eighths. And therefore, the quadratic function in vertex form is f of x equals a, which is 2, times the quantity x minus h squared which would be the quantity x minus one fourth squared plus k, so we have plus 23 eighths. So this is the equation of the quadratic function in vertex form. Before we go though, let's verify this graphically by graphing f of x in this form and this form on the same coordinate plane. When we do this, we get the same parabola graphed here in blue, and notice how we can verify that the vertex does have coordinates 1 fourth comma 23 eighths. I hope you found this helpful.